Hello and welcome along to a brand new series from a brand new game with me, Daniel. We are back with Cricket 22 at long last. I've been waiting for this one a while. We did the Nets Challenge a couple of months ago in the eye above, but then we turned our attention to FM 22. Now we are back for the Ashes. Starting on Tuesday in real life, we're getting going a little bit early. So for anyone who's new along, we are going to be doing an Ashes test we're going to start the men's series. We are going to play one session in every single episode. So up to 15 a test. If the first test goes well and you like what you see, we'll do a few more as well. So if you're looking forward to that and you like the sound of it, please do chuck a thumbs up on it. Subscribe down below for daily FM22 content and regular ones from Cricket22. I'm planning to do them a couple of days a week, either Saturday or Sunday morning, and then one day in the midweek as well. We might even work it around the tests as we go along. Of course, I am an Englishman. We are going to be taking control of England and we're going to be trying to get the job done down under, which is going to be no mean feat because the Aussie side are heavy favourites going into this. Of course, annoyingly, I'm away this weekend, so I'm having to rush this one through thanks to the uh, Cricket Australia Tim Payne fiasco, although English cricket is not in great shape at the minute either. Let's move on, though, and get into our Ashes test and pick our lineup. If you want to see any of the FM22 videos, they're up in the eye above, as is the Twitch channel for FM live streams. Might do a cricket one a bit later on, we'll wait and see. But let's get cracking on with it. Let's go and pick our team. Let's go and manage England. We are going to Players England. The first test at the Gabba. Now we've talked about this in streams over on Twitch, about potentially in real life them going without a spinner for this, because spin is definitely England's weak link for this series. However, I don't think we can do it in Cricket 22. I've always liked spin bowling. I've always been pretty good. Let's see, firstly, if we're able to change the lineup. I presume we are. There we go. Edit lineup and kit. So, let's firstly see the one they've picked. And to be honest, that's not far off what I would go for. Now, in real life, I'm not sure Broad and Anderson will play the same test, maybe bar the first one. The choice is then, they've gone spin free as well, you see. I would have been tempted by it. So, I'm not going to pick Moen Ali and Joffre Archer. I know they would get in normally, but... They're not players that are available to England. Ali's retired from Test cricket. Archer is, of course, out injured. Are the rest of the squad there? It's a little bit jumpy on the menu, actually. I'm not sure we've got everyone we would have normally. Who's missing? See, I would have had James Vince. Mark Wood is the other one I'm looking at. So let me just get him in case. I haven't quite decided just yet, though. A little bit clunky on the menus on my side, but that might just be the stream of it. I couldn't see Leach there, actually. That was the spinner I was looking for, but perhaps not the case. Let's see what they're like batting-wise in comparison, because you would expect Wood to maybe be better than Broad. No, we're going to put Broad up to 9, Wood to 10. It's a very big tail, but it's also a very good batting lineup above it, so it should be pretty good. Pope is a good number 12. Just checking for Jack Leach, because if we go for a second test, I'm going to want him in there, and he's not there. That seems a little bit odd unless I'm missing it. There's our lineup pick then. I'm pretty happy with that. We've got our test outfit on at last. Let's go and get into the first day at the Gabba. A hard, dry surface, warm conditions, exactly what we'd expect in Australia. Well, let's go and give it a go, shall we? Let's see if we can cause a shock in the first test. Or oh, very quickly, I thought I'd better show you this beforehand. We're not going on easy difficulty. We're just going to go normal because I think that's probably the easiest way of doing it. We don't know how difficult it's going to be. Into the first test, it's England v Australia, and we've got to try and regain the Ashes. Not many shocks in the Australia team, other than maybe Matty Wade being in there as the wicketkeeper. That's why Carey had been bought in, but Australia are definitely the favourites. I think this is going to be incredibly difficult, but I'm looking forward to it. Let's go and get into the toss. What are we going to go for? Heads. Tails never fail, so how about we're going to lose? Who wins the toss? It is heads, I think. Oh, that's tails, apparently. Australia win the toss. They are, I presume, going to bat first and put down a massive score. They are. Which means, for the first episode, we are going to see what I presume will be a whole session of bowling. It will be an absolute calamity for Australia if it's not. A little bit of a weird glitch there on the way to the scorecard. That slide hasn't changed much from Cricket 19, which I was a regular player of. The rest of it, though, I'm hoping will be a bit smoother. Just to say, I am playing on the old-fashioned stats. I am playing on the old-fashioned pro controls. I'm trying to do it with the analog sticks. It's what I love to do in Cricket 19, and I don't really want to go arcade. I just feel it's a bit more lifelike if you're throwing the stick into a shot or in your bowling delivery. So we're going to go for that. Fingers crossed it'll work out. 
We'll be back in a minute for the first ball. And I'm going to turn down this commentary in my ear. Jimmy Anderson, we've got the in-swing, out-swing. We're going to stay over the wicket to start with, but we know the first few overs, that's Jimmy Anderson's game. I'm only going to show you highlights from each session. I'm not going to bore you with 30 overs of consistent cricket, but we've got to show the first ball. We're just going to go for the out-swinging, good length delivery. We're going to try and time this perfectly. And I think we have leave outside off stump. And I'd imagine we're going to get quite a lot of achievements today, aren't we? We're getting the perfect timing to start off with. Should have turned them off for a start, shouldn't we? But a good first ball. We are going to turn off the fielding stuff because I don't want to bore you to death with me trying to field. So fully assisted fielding on. We've also gone back to the classic runs and wickets combo that we actually recognise as Englishmen. Now I'll be back with highlights throughout this test. We're trying to swing it away from the left-handers. I'm going to go a little bit fuller than I did previously and see if that works out. And if played outside off stump, that is a really good shot. And we're getting hit around a bit here in the first over. They've run a quick two. That's something that hasn't changed yet. We've been pretty tidy so far. We can't complain after a few months away from a game like this. That one's very wide and might be given as a wide. I deliberately didn't play it for a little while. We get away with that one. I deliberately didn't play it for a while, so we weren't too good. But one over gone. Australia, three without loss. Well, the new man is in and Stuart Broad is going to be going big. So, do you know what? Let's start by shocking them with a bouncer. And we'll see if it catches them by surprise or not. It has not. It's just bounced over. He ducks out the way. That's pretty comfortable in the end. We'll go back to a bit more classic now. More standard delivery for Broad second time round. Then we're aiming for that sort of third or fourth stump length. It's hit in the air and it's going to go all the way, I think. But... Wasn't a million miles away from the fielder. I'm not sure. I'm too disappointed with that. We know Bukowski's going to be a little bit more aggressive than David Warner to start. That's a nice little graphic as well. But at the moment, seven without loss. And it's been a great start for Australia. Let's start with an in-swinger in the third over. Jimmy Anderson, straight at a stump, son. Go on. Make it count. Off the leg side. Just got out of shape a little bit there. Too easy to get away. And we'll just be saved from four. Should be two or three, though. A little bit slow in the field, but is back into the wicket keeper. We'll take that. That's manageable. Outswingers to the right hander on strike now. Let's see if we can make it a bit tougher for them. It's too wide. Cannot get that line right early doors here. And we are we are hemorrhaging runs at the moment. There's nothing that's causing a threat here. Might have to go back to arcade controls because I am struggling on the old fashioned ones. It's a lot harder to get it right at the stumps. Let's have another go. That's a little better. It was a little bit fuller. It was a little bit closer in and it shaped away. We're going to try and trick them with an in-swinger next over. But for now, it's 16 without loss. Australia, seven runs off that over. Out-swinging delivery from Broad. It is early doors. We've got to try and take advantage of a little bit of swing that might be there. It seems to be impossible to get this right. It's going very wide or very close to the stumps with the most minimal of changes. And it is becoming quite frustrating. Three and a half overs. Australia race to 20 and we have got some thinking to do here let's try not to be clever and just bowl at the stumps that's a better line we're going to finish with the in swinger of course it's nothing on Jimmy Anderson's but Broad is an aggressive bowler he ties him up on leg stump there not sure really how it ended up on leg stump it's a dodgy run and they almost get themselves run out when they're sailing but 10 for David Warner four overs gone Australia flying on 21 Jimmy Anderson in for his third. We're going to stick with a fuller length delivery and we're going to start with the in-swinger to David Warner. We're going to try and throw it outside off. Again, it's on the leg stump and I am bowling that so wide out to the right. I'm really not sure that that's as accurate as it should be. It doesn't seem to be matching what you're doing on the controls compared to previous games anyway. We're going to go in-swinger. We're going to try and tie them on the pads. Let's hope it works out just outside off. And again, it drifts so far across. It seems a little unrealistic. I've got to be honest, the amount of swing on it. It rolls away for four. It's a little bit easy. I'm not sure about this. Right, I've had a change up of the bowling instructions. We're going back to what was in Cricket 19 as the sort of modern ones there. So we're going to go for an in-swinger, good length. And we're going to see whether we can get it a bit more accurate here. Again, it's still a little bit leg side, but that's a little bit more promising. So I think we might have to novice ourselves down a bit here, despite being a seasoned Cricket 22 player, which is a little frustrating. Well, our standard length deliveries are basically full on this pitch. So let's go for a slower one, try and chop them. 
We forced them into defensive work. That's what we want to do. Get them retreating into the shell, particularly the debutant, who we're giving huge confidence to at the moment. Maybe it's just the pitch. We've gone a little bit shorter this time as well. And we're going to start wide outside. We forced it into the air. There's a fielder there, but it's gone between the two. And that's running away for four. Not the best bit of work again. Australia past 30. This is a shocking start. You can tell I haven't played for a while, can't you? In the seventh over with David Warner, we are going to go for the outswinger. Can we get it to work? Back into the pads, straight to the field up. Now, I've not set my normal field yet because I wanted to get a little bit of a feel for it. But I feel we might have to pretty soon. So let's go outswing. We're going shorter again. But this time, we're going to try and tie him up on the pads a little bit. Forces it across. That's better. And just edged into the slips. Unfortunately, it bounced on the way, though. So, in swinger again. Two balls left in the over. Outside off with Jimmy Anderson. That's better. But it's well hit away by Warner off the pads. It's going to be a struggle to keep this from the boundary. But comfortably too. And that's pretty well dealt with. Already you can see the swing just starting to go a little bit out of this pitch. So, we're going to try and go across Warner stumps again. That's a little bit better. A little bit fuller. But, Warner is picking us apart here. This is very disturbing to say the least. It's not the best bowling. We're still getting to grips. But you have to argue the shot making is exceptional. So I might be tempted just to have a little go soon. Because I'm starting to regret the no spin bowlers already. Let's see how this one works out. Onto the leg side. Straight to the fielder. And that is a gift of a wicket from a pretty poor delivery. Stuart Broad takes it. We did not deserve that. But it's a loose shot from the youngster. It's a loose shot from the newcomer. And Stuart Broad gets his wicket. Who catches that? It's caught by, I think it's Stokes again. Oh, it's Johnny Bairstow. What a fantastic catch. And it's one for 37. The run rate is high, but we'll take it if we can get some wickets quick. Labashain, the all-rounder's in though. And he is very unorthodox. Going to be hard to deal with. Final ball of the over. Following the field changes, we already look a lot more tighter. I'm going to go in-swinger because we've been going for a whole over of out-swingers. They've not really threatened him too much. This one, though, forces to the leg side. He's going to get a run. It was just a little bit wide. We needed to tie him up, but it's going to be a couple of runs. Labashain's off the mark on two. Australia, 39 for one. We've applied the fielding changes to Warner too. We've got one opener in the last over. Can we get another one here? Out swing up. We're going to make the most of it because I don't think we've got many more overs of this to come. In from Anderson, just outside. Oh, that's the difference between Cricket 19 and 22. The modernising of the game, the T20 style, just means they're comfortable playing it through the slip, playing it through fine leg, playing it through the offside too. Stuart Broad is the man who made the breakthrough. And you know what? I'm going to surprise everyone. Let's just bowl a Yorker to start the over. Really try and catch David Warner out because he's dealt with everything so far. Oh! Oh, it was a little bit of a nick. I've accidentally appealed again. I've done that a couple of times now. But that is an edge. And they're going a bit wider than normal. So let me adjust my field. Out swinger at Warner this time. Let's try and mix it up. Go across the stumps this time around. Oh, he has a little wave of the bat. He has a little waft, but he doesn't get near it. That's what Broad wants to be doing. Let's go back to the in-swingers for the final ball. Still a little bit of swing left in this pitch. But not quite there. On the stumps this time, that's going to be an easy one. Straight to the fielder in the deep. One more over out of Jimmy Anderson, hopefully. Let's try and make it a six over spell. That one forces an aerial shot. There's a fielder there, but it's between the two again. It was a pretty good ball, but it was played away. It was aggressive. And I've just realized we've got the ball trail on. So let's go and get rid of that. 12th over. I don't think we're going to get much more swing out of this. So let's go for a shorter one first. Just try and do something a bit different. Oh, it's edged. It's a big edge. It drops safe. He's got away with one there, Labashain, but he's not looking confident early on for all the Warners flying down the other end. So let's go a bit fuller. Let's get it a bit closer into the stumps and let's try and really scare him. Normal delivery. Oh, he smashes it away on the leg side. Should only be one if the fielding is good. And it is. Oh, they're going for a second. This has got to be a run out. How slow is that ball back? What is the field doing there? That is mad. That's an easy run out. There was never a second run there. That's my first big blot against Cricket 22. Let's go for the in-swing up because we can't do much more than that. That was a clear as day run out. Faster delivery into the stumps. Hooked away again. Are we going to see the same thing? Look, he's throwing it back. The second run shouldn't be starting. 
and they don't this time. Just one. There we go. Chris Wokes is going to be in, and he's going to give us a few overs now. I guess we have got the option of Root as a spinner. Milan can do a little bit of part-time, but for now, this is going to be our man. Chris Wokes into the attack. Second ball of the over for Wokes. Nothing doing from the first one. We're trying to play across the stumps for Warner, trying to get him in a little bit of trouble. But again, just taking a few balls to find that perfect line. And Warner runs one there. Labashain in, though. Wokes can maybe give him a challenge as a fresh bowler. Time for an outswinger to Labashain. Let's give him a little bit of a fright on the pads. Let's see if we can force him to swing at one. We do, but that's well hit. And that's gone to the leg side. Might even be two here. They're turning quickly. They're going for it. I mean, they should never make it that, that comfortably. The ball seems to move so slowly from the throw. Is a little bit off, but there you go. Around the wicket for Broad. That's been the approach this over. We're going a bit more standard now because the swing is just starting to come out of the ball. It's getting roughed up a little bit. This one's at the stumps. Warner gets an edge. Oh, it's gone for four. That is so unfortunate from Stuart Broad. And you can't legislate for that. It's a wonderful delivery. It got Warner beaten all ends up. It went between bat and pad. And it took a massive inside edge and beat the wicket keeper down the leg side for four. You can't do much about those ones. Almost halfway through the session, we've not really had any LB shouts. We've not really had many wicket taking shouts. Even the wicket itself was a poor ball. It's Wokes swinging in, not got as much on it this time. I think that's the end of the swing deliveries because that barely moved. So standard deliveries, we're just trying to cause a, a bit of a build up of tension here. We're trying to force them into a poor shot. But every time we just lose that shape and they glance a single off the pads, it makes it easy for them because that's their work done for the over. Two singles already from these three. We finish off to Warner, trying to play outside off. The swing has very much gone now. That's a better ball though. Wokes forcing his man to leave. Halfway through the session, 69 for one. And we're going to bring Mark Wood in for Stuart Broad. There's the drinks break. Mark Wood is in. We are going to start by seeing if he can get any more swing out of this pitch. We'll only try it once. In towards the stumps. Playing outside off. Oh, that's a lovely ball. Down the ground. He's, they've managed to nick one again. They're running really unrealistic situations here. I feel like the, the speed of the running with between the wickets is so different to what's in the field. Standard delivery again. We are trying to go as straight and as quick as possible. At the stumps to Warner. Just drifts to the leg again. And it's an easy one. We've got to stop giving those singles away. The moment it's causing us big problems again that's two or three balls right standard just outside off stump that has got to be the plan to lab shane he's looked vulnerable he's looked defensive he somehow creaks that to the leg side it's an excellent shot because it was outside off and they're going to run two again it's really starting to annoy me now look how poor that throw back was this is test cricket at the top level madness final ball of the over the plan stays the same can we force him into a mistake? Can we force him into an edge? He goes leg side. The field has moved out the way of it. What on earth is going on in the field here, honestly? They're going to run three off that. And it's going to be six off the over or seven off the over now. But that delivery was decent. And the fielder, it was straight at him. Really poor. Warner has been playing and defending and playing and defending. This time, tries to wield the bat outside off. It's a little bit too wide. It's going to go for four. It's that one poor ball and over again. And even if this is kept in, it's an easy three. It's not. Four runs. 79 for one as Wood is back for his next over. We are just starting to tighten up a little. But every time we say that, we give away a silly one. That one glanced to the leg side. It's too easy. We've got to tighten up. 80 for one off 17.1. And the Australian run rate edges back towards five again. Let's go standard. Let's go full. Let's try and get line and length. This is all about... Test cricket line and length with Mark Wood here. Another one forced off to the leg side. We cannot get it right. That's going to be another run. And it's two silly singles again. In comes Chris Wokes to David Warner again. It's becoming a bit of a juicy battle. That is a big hook from Warner. And it was miles outside off stump. And he still played it to the leg side for four. He's now only three away from his half century. I think this might need the partnership breaker Ben Stokes in in a minute. Wokes might have a short spell, although he has been economic to that point. I'm having so much trouble with the no ball. I'm going to be accused of match fixing soon, but we are back with Wokes again. This one's a lovely delivery. Did that take an edge? I think that took a nick. It's hard to tell from the far angle, but it didn't. 
worth an appeal. Certainly got Warner Scramble in there. The cross seam deliveries are working an absolute treat. Mark Wood is back in. We're going to start with a slightly shorter one. We just want to try and have a little bit of variation. And that's going to be the end of that experiment because that is going to be at least two. And we're lucky it's not more in truth. Not a good delivery. I was going to say halfway through that I was hoping we could keep it under 100 before lunch. I'm thinking maybe 120 now would be a good outcome. Might get a couple of overs. A root in as that's edged. That's got to be out. Big appeal. The finger goes up. That is fabulous. As soon as we found line and length, as soon as we produced three, four, five consistent balls, Labashain just ducks a feather at one and he's got a little bit of a nick on it. That is a fabulous wicket. Excellent bowling from the paceman. And that is through to the slips. Labashain out for 18. Joe Rue catches. And we are now in business. Two wickets before lunch. I'd have probably taken that at the start. Steve Smith in though. The man you can't get out. We might need Stokes soon. Let's start with the cross seam delivery again though. It seems to be the one that's causing all of the trouble so far. I'm going to throw a faster one first to try and catch him off guard. Wow. He comes out, plays immediately through the offside and smashes me for four. Don't get cocky. There's a lesson for the day, kids. Ben Stokes, cross seam delivery. We might as well go right at the stumps. Let's see if he can catch Warner before he gets to that half century. Right at the stumps, glanced off the leg for one. A little bit too easy, not quite found his line straight away, but let's hope we can get something special here. He's up against Steve Smith now. Well, at the moment, all Steve Smith is doing is leaving every Ben Stokes delivery. So we're trying to go a bit more central. We force him into a shot there. And again, the, the standard of fielding is so poor. I'm sorry. This is not realistic fielding, is it? They can't run a third from there. Oh, that's a joke. The pace of the running batsman is so much quicker. Three runs off a very average shot. Final ball of the over. We are one away from the first maiden. Will they go for something spectacular? Or will he just let it through? It is played at. Is it going to go through for a run? It is not. Straight to Wokes in the field. And we've got a maiden. Mark Wood, excellent line and length. Let's try and back it up. Not many overs to go till lunch now. 22 through already. And we're keeping them under 100 at the minute. What can they do from Stokes? Will Warner play? Oh my word. He's gone up. But has he gone long enough? There's a fielder run in, but it's gone for six. My word. What a way to bring up 50. Good news. The run rate is starting to tumble. Down to 4.37. The lowest it has been since the first over. But immediately, they go and smash one for four. Oh, my word. It was a good delivery as well. Maybe slightly in the slot. But you've got to praise Smith. It's a great shot. And he knows when to turn on the style. Australia move on to two for 106. Gonna try a little bit of an off cutter here and just see if it's got any give in the pitch. Mark Wood coming in at pace. Oh, just has a little too much on it in the end. Goes through to the leg side for one. Are they gonna run a second? Oh, it's doing my head in now. It's so unrealistic, but I mean, he wasn't even backsmith and Butler didn't try and get to the stumps to claim it. So certainly some slight issues on the fielding for Cricket 22. Got to say for David Warner, since those early edges, almost every shot has come off the middle of the bat. But we are bowling a tighter line. That one somehow goes down the ground though. Gets a lot of power on it. It was deceptive. And he's nicked a boundary again. Slightly short, but it wasn't a terrible ball. In comes Mark Wood again. Sixth over, possibly the last of his spell. Let me give Root a couple. Oh! Did that catch a glance? I don't think it did, but he really gave him a worry there. That is the first time. David Warner has played at a short one and got nowhere near it. So let's try and mix it up and go fuller now. Back to that consistent line of length. Wood, to be fair, hasn't had much of a go at Warner yet. And he's really causing him some problems here. In the 26th over, Mark Wood is on for a maiden. His line of length has been immaculate. But that one's played away to the leg side. And Warner is just nicking one or two every now and then. And the fact they're running two off of these is not helping. I mean, it's great for us. We love a leg glance. You've seen that from Cricket 19, but it's not great for the realism, is it? Let's get in with the cross seam delivery. We're going to play a little wider outside off, try and tempt him into a shot into the slips. It does run its own risk as he goes for a big strike for extra cover. Between the two fielders, that's going for four. And it's six off the over again. Final ball of the over. Anderson around the wicket to David Warner. Big shot down the leg side. David Warner in this game has got Jimmy Anderson's number. 
And that was a great over till that point. And he plays the aggressive stroke and he takes him to the cleaners, quite frankly. Well, we've brought Joe Root in for two cheeky overs before lunch. And I'm going to start with a second and fourth slip, which is what they've gone for. But this was my Cricket 19 career mode for years and years. Off break spin bowling. Yes, it was left handed on that occasion. But let's see if we can get it right. Joe Root in. Oh, little bit of a miss. I've accidentally appealed, but it's caused a little bit of a ruckus early doors. I tell you what, what I'd give to have Moen Ali available for these tests. I know he's in the game, but it's not realistic, is it? Oh, just inside. Almost got an edge. The problem is, if he does get an edge on it, it's an inside one. And I can see it going for four. But it's been a brilliant over. We're one ball away from a maiden. Joe Root in. Will they go aggressive? They do, but it's straight to the fielder. Well, we said we'd be happy to be in the 120s at lunchtime. Six runs takes Australia to 130. We've got the two wickets, but Anderson's been expensive, particularly when it comes to David Warner. Let's see what he can do here. I'm going to go just a little wider and try and stop him playing through the leg side, which we do. But he's then gone and got four. That is a disaster. Well, five dots followed it and we go off and over early. Maybe that's because we're using so much seam bowling. But only 29 overs possible before lunch. Jimmy Anderson finishes with five dot balls after the opening four in that over. And Australia, 128 for two. Yes, maybe not the best defensively. We started poorly. We were a little rusty on the seam bowling. But positive signs from Joe Root getting a cheeky over him before lunch. Maybe spin something we're going to utilise a bit more later on. And to be honest, we've got to be happy with the wickets. Pukowski gave his wicket away to Broad. It was a poor ball. Whereas Labashane... Never looked comfortable, never looked settled, and Mark Wood eventually had his number. Well caught by Joe Root, the skipper in the slips. But 128 for two, that's where we're going to leave episode one. If you're looking forward to the second episode and the rest of this test match, pretty nicely poised due to my rusty start, it has to be said. Please do put a thumbs up on the video. Let me know in the comments how you're getting on with Cricket 22, whether you're doing an Ashes series or you're going straight into the career mode. And of course, subscribe down below and turn that notification bell on to get alerts when the next episode comes out. I've got I'm away for a few days this weekend, so it might be hard to get a second out before Tuesday or Wednesday. But after that, we'll get going at least two or three times a week. A massive thank you for your support as always. You can find all the Football Manager playlists, the next challenge episode we did a couple of months ago, and the Twitch channel up in the eye above. And I'll see you next time for the second session as we try and chop down that Australian top order. And it's the big two we've got to get out this time. I'll see you there.